welcome to the mobility and kickboxing workout of our boot camp, high intensity interval training. We're starting with shoulder rolls backwards. We can do this either slow or fast or start slow and then become faster. I would like you to warm up your shoulder girdle, but also work on pulling your shoulders down, tips of the shoulder blades pulling backwards, then change direction. Roll the shoulders forward or just the other way. The kickboxing, kickboxing workouts are mostly low impact, which means there's going to be less jumping, which means this is going to be a little bit of a longer drill workout. So don't get too scared. Not too much jumping here, but lots of kickboxing and mobility work. Next one up, plank to V. Come into plank pose when you're ready. So from your perfect plank, shoulders above your hands, press back into down dog or V position, pushing the hips back and up. Then roll over your toes. Then curl your spine and roll it forward into your plank. Core is engaged. Shoulder strength. Work on mobility of your first toe joint here and mobility of your spine, including your head into the movement. Next one up, single lunge, alternating. No jumping here, though of course, if you feel like it, you can. Let's go, start with the feet parallel, then step backwards into a low lunge meaning your back knee almost touches the ground. Both knees are 90 degrees. Shoulders stays above your hips. Now work your arms. Arms are moving front and back, diagonally to your legs. Ten more seconds. Keep the pace up. And two more warm ups before we start with our stretch sequence, simple boxer bounce, either with your arms hanging, your shoulders relaxed, or if you want to, you can have your hands in your guard, knuckles to your cheeks, elbows protecting your rib cage. And we've been doing this a little bit, so you can start playing around here, moving into all kinds of directions. Kickboxing is also the work of teaching your body to move in all different directions while stabilizing in your center. Focus on not having your weight on either leg, but always in between both legs, being able to move into all directions if you wish so. Last one up, three pulse knee. So we're pulsing three times into a squat, squat as low as you can, and then bring one knee up at a time. So we're coming from a guard position in squat to pulling our hands, both of our hands to the side where the knee comes up. So hand to guard, knuckles to chin, and then both hands to the outer hip. Now the knee moves forward when you bring the knee up while the upper body is moving backwards away from the knee. Keep your balance when you do so. This is a little bit of a balance challenge. Arms front if you want to, other than in the guard. Up to you. And let's stretch. Since we are going to do a lot of kicking, we need to work on our leg flexibility to avoid injury. So step with your feet wide apart, then turn over to your left. Work on your hip flexibility by coming into high lunge. Then drop your hand to the floor, come into low lunge. Keep moving. And then drop the right hand to the ground 
Inhale, lift the left hand to the sky, rotating to your left knee. Still dropping the hips. Come back to center, then fold forward. Hamstring stretch for your left knee or your left leg. Digging the heel into the ground, lifting the toes if you can. Then get those arms warmed up, 10 push-ups. As you know, we're always having these little stretches and warm-up sequences. 10 push-ups either on your feet or on your knees. Pull the navel in, engage the core. Chest coming to the floor. And once you've counted to 10, bring the left leg front again. Then change sides, working on the adductors, very important for side kicks. So bend the left knee, stretch the inside of the right adductor. Be gentle, keep it moving, stay dynamic. Mobilizing our connective tissue, tendons, muscles, then squat low into half squat. Lifting the right toes up to the sky and then change side. Adductors first and be gentle with your groin. You don't want to rip anything apart here. And then half squat, dropping those hips, also working your ankle mobility on the right foot. And there we are on the right side. Switch it all the way over, pivoting to the right. Right high lunge, right foot is forward, left leg is back. Dropping those hips as much as possible. Hip opening, then both hands on the ground. Keep it moving, keep exploring, and then switch and lift, rotate towards your bent knee. Open into T. Then forward fold to hamstring stretch. By the end of boot camp, you will be able to do this routine. Getting out of bed by heart. All right, you're ready for mountain climbers. Get both hands on the ground, hands behind, uh, underneath the shoulders, and 20 mountain climbers. 10 each. Brace your core, pull the navel in. shoulder stability and then right foot forward come into center roll all the way up you should be warmed up and mobilized by now so we're ready to go first one up jab cross fighting stance right foot forward left foot back start with turning the hips then include the arms shoot both fists out straight in front of you Fists are shoulder height. And bring both arms quickly back into your guard. Knuckles to chin, elbows close to your rib cage. Now make sure not to twist the knee. Always lift the heel and turn the whole leg when you turn your hips. Weight stays in between both legs. Ready to move in any direction necessary. Keep it moving, five more seconds. And then step or jump, switching, fighting stance, left foot forward, right foot back. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, keep a good stance, then start with turning your hips and then shoot out those fists forward straight in front of you, hip height, uh, shoulder height. Weight stays in between both legs. And lift those heels when you turn, so the leg stays in one long line. Keep it going. Pulling your fist back as quickly as possible, bringing your arms back into guard. Don't overstretch the elbows. Never fully extend, pull them back as quickly as you can. Staying with the punches, alternating hook. Start with both feet parallel. 
and start with turning the hips, turning the shoulders and the hips simultaneously, and then shoot those elbows out shoulder height. You know, look at your wrist when you punch straight in front of you. The arm never fully extends, but pull it back as quickly as you can back into guard. Make sure to close those elbows back again once you've pushed them out into hook. Remember to lift the back heel and remember to twist those hips and shoulders. So the movement is coming from your core, not so much from the arm. The arm is just flaring out. Wonderful, let's get those legs warmed up, side kick. Lean over to the left side, left leg is standing leg and then stomp kick to your right. Stomp kick means you first bring the knee up and then you stomp kick the leg out for the flex and bring it in as quickly as possible with a leading knee. While your upper body is leaning towards the left side, you're kicking towards the right side as much as possible. Make sure not to lock the knee, pull the leg back before you fully extend. Make sure to control your arms, don't let them fly around. Hands can either be in guard or here like I do at the ready. Shake it out, you can pause the video if you need to. You have 10 seconds of rest before we switch over to the left side. Right leg, standing leg, turn the standing leg slightly out, bend the right knee, lean over to the right side. Then bring the left knee up, stomp kick out, foot is flex, bring the knee back in and repeat. Make sure to bring the knee in first and then stomp the foot out, bring the knee back in and then drop the leg. The upper body stays leaned over to the right side at all times. Control your arms. Keep your hands in guard as much as possible with the elbows close to your ribcage. And 10 seconds of rest before we move back to punches and uppercuts. Fighting stance, right foot forward, left foot back, feet hip width apart or shoulder width apart. And then first again, twist those hips, lifting those heels. Then from below, uppercut right in front of your face. So your fist flies from below upwards. Try punching the same point with both fists. Engage the core and keep turning those hips. Always lifting those heels of the turning leg. Step or jump to change fighting stance. Left leg forward, right foot back. Uppercut. Here we go. Start with turning the hips, lifting the heel, engaging the core, and then from your center, punch up to the same point, left and right. Arms are flying back into your guard as quickly as possible. Knuckles to your chin or cheek. Elbows tight, protecting your ribcage. Keep breathing, 20 more seconds. The arm never extends fully, but you pull it back as quickly as possible into your guard and then switch to the other side. Weight stays in between your legs. There we go. Double hook. So these are two hooks each side. Same movement as for the one single hook, but you can go a little further on the second one. So start with turning your hips on a one and two and one and two with the second one being a little bit more explosive Then include the arms. Again, lift the elbow shoulder height and then punch right in front of you, looking at your wrists, so the fist is slightly turned towards you. 
Never fully extend the arm, but bring it back as quickly as you can. Make sure to lift the back heel to protect your knee. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Contract the core. There we go. If you need to, have 10 seconds of rest or more. Press pause if you need to. And we're coming back to our kicks. Roundhouse kick drills. So we're starting with the right leg. So left knee is bent, foot and knee are slightly turned outwards. Then kick low, mid and high. At your own level, you don't need to kick too high. While you're kicking, you're basically simply bringing the foot back in, your ankle's coming back to your hip, but you don't bring the foot down. So you need to balance, lean the body over to the left side while kicking with the right. Foot is point at all times. So we're kicking through our knee joint here. Control your fists. Don't let them hang around. And then try the same thing on the other side. Roundhouse kicks, drills, low, mid, high. So bend the right knee, turn both knee and foot out slightly. Lean the upper body over to the right side, engage the side body, engage the core, and kick low, mid, and high while leaning over to the, to the right side. Keep breathing. Now pull the navel in. Keep your balance. You don't need to kick too high. Just focus on bringing the leg as quickly back in as you can. Foot stays point, so your heel is flying in and out as quickly as you can. Remember never to extend fully, but to pull back before locking. Wonderful, getting into squat knee here. So we've had this on our three pulses. Now we just do one single squat as low as you can and then bring the knee up front. You can go as fast as you want. Work a little bit here on the arm coordination. Since this is a kickboxing workout, I would like you to use your guard, knuckles to cheeks, elbows close to the rib cage. So arms come front and then pull to the outside hip. When the knee comes front, make sure to lean the upper body back, engaging the core, working on your hip extension on the standing leg. Last one. Great one. Let's have a full roundhouse kick ground here. Simple roundhouse kick drills. Starting with the right side, as high as you want. You can do low roundhouse kicks, mid or high ones. If you lose your balance, then you start again. Remember to both turn your knee and your foot out and lean over to the left side, engaging the oblique muscles, your core, side core. Shoot out from your knee, point your foot, and try to control your hands. Keep it breathing. 10 more seconds. Keep a few more rounds in. Well done. Switch it over to the other side. You've got 10 seconds of rest. If you need more rest, simply pause the video. Here we go, get into position. Turn the foot and the knee out slightly, lean over to the right side. And then from your hip, bring the leg up. Shoot the knee out, shoot the foot out, foot is point. While the upper body is leaning over to the right side. Now your upper fist can fly out in a punch. Or you can simply keep your guard with your knuckles against your cheeks and your elbows against your rib cage. Remember not to lock in your knee, but pull the leg back before you are locking your joint. Five more seconds. And we're finishing up on the floor here. That was 
great kickboxing workout. We're working a little bit more on mobility and on our core stability here. Start in elbow plank and then dip the hips left and right. So you wanna have your shoulders above your elbows. Both forearms are parallel, stay strong in your shoulder and then pivot both feet to the right and to the left while staying in a plank. You can do this a little bit bouncy here as I'm doing just to make it easy and more fun. Keep your neck straight, no need to look forward. Just keep your gaze on the ground or looking at your navel. Perfect. Two more, one each side for the plank wraps. It's a new exercise we're doing here. First on the left side, right arm is coming up. So side plank, one foot in front of the other, and then wrap the right arm around your body and then lift again into T. I think we already did this. <laughs> so come on your side plank and then engage your core, twisting your core here, rotating, really engaging the oblique muscles, your core, and then inhale and come back up. 20 more seconds. Stay strong on your left shoulder. Really press the left elbow into the ground. Move the left shoulder away from your ear as much as possible. Five more seconds. Then switch over, change sides. Have either both feet in front of each other or on top of each other. Come onto your right elbow. Left arm up and then start wrapping and rotating around your torso while you're twisting the upper body. This is great side stability, shoulder stability, and we're working on our oblique muscles here. And before you know it, we also work here on hip stability, working the side glute muscle. When you start to get tired, remember to press the right elbow into the ground, pulling the right shoulder away from the ear. Stay strong, stay tall. This is your last workout exercise and then we start to cool down and stretch. There you go, well deserved. Get back up into standing, start with your feet parallel. Bring both your fists next to your hip. Enjoy this gorgeous view with this blue water. Amazing. And then side stretch to the right, crossing the left leg back to the left, crossing the right leg back, creating a C shape with your body. Avoid to fold over. Keep your chest up, keep your arm extended overhead. Stretching the latissimus, our oblique muscles, the whole side of our hip. Then release your arms, come into parallel position again, and then simply open your arms to the side into chest stretch. Hands are slightly underneath your shoulders, Roll your shoulders backwards, then roll your arms out, palms facing up to the sky, thumbs are facing backwards, pull the navel in slightly to avoid too much of tilting in your hips. Now move your head freely, either front and back, looking sideways, or tilting the head, bringing the ear towards the shoulders. Open the chest a bit more if you can, pulling the shoulder blades together. Three more seconds. Well done. Bicep stretch and also a bit of uh, wrist mobility. Gently stretch your right arm in front, grab your right palm with your left hand, keep your right wrist shoulder height, Extend the arm, you can contract your tri triceps a little bit. Now lower your shoulder from the ear. 
and then change side. Push the left palm forward, grab the left palm of the right hand, wrist is at shoulder height, contract your tre tre trapezius, triceps muscle, the back arm. And then slowly release, shake it if you want to. We're moving into tricep stretch, right arm starts, placing your right hand in between your shoulder blades. You can grab your right elbow with your left hand, helping a little bit to push your right hand a little deeper, if that is non-painful. Non Open your shoulder here, make sure your head is comfortable. Then if you feel like it, you can lean over to the left side, stretching the side body a little bit more. And if that feels comfortable, just as we did with the side stretches, you can cross your right leg back, crossing the right leg to the left, making the C shape all the way to the left, and then release. Such a nice stretch. And place the left hand in between your shoulder blades, Grab the left elbow with your right hand. Stand tall, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Make sure your head is comfortable. Then if you feel like it, you don't have to. Lean over to your right side. It's more like a lift of the elbow than a crunch to the right. So you wanna push your left elbow higher. And of course, you can cross the left leg back behind your right foot, creating a C-shape. Prevent your body from falling forward. Keep your chest lifted. Keep the gaze lifted. Really stretching sideways here. And release. Perfect. Stay standing. A little bit more standing here before, before we go down to the ground at the end. Quad stretch. Grabbing your right ankle, pushing the hips forward. Now bend the left knee a little bit, contract your glutes, pressing the hips forward a little bit more, and then as much as possible, get back up, stretching the left knee, being gentle in your quad, and release. Let's repeat the same on the other side. Grab your left ankle with your left hand, Keep both thighs parallel and bend the right knee. Contract your glute, push the hip, hip forward, and then slowly stretch out your right leg. Be gentle, chest stays up, lift the gaze. There you go. And release, you can fold forward into hamstring stretch. Full stretch, full forward fold. Even your hair can relax now. Now bend both knees, both knees bend. Pull the navel in. Round the back as much as possible. Pull yourself a little lower. And then slowly exhale and stretch both legs. Coming a little bit deeper into your hamstring stretch. Taking the heels into the ground, lifting both sit bones up to the sky. Great one. So we do need a lot of leg mobility for our kicks. Last one standing, right and left, butt stretch, figure four stretch. So cross the right ankle over your left knee, sit back and down into a mid-height squat. You can use your hands to adjust knee position or foot position. Make sure your right leg is slightly turned out or as much as possible so you feel a slight stretch in the middle of your butt cheek. Then lift both arms, engage the back a little. Both thumbs are pointing backwards. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure to let go of your shoulders. And then relax and change sides. Balancing on your right foot, crossing your left ankle above your right knee, sitting back and down with the hip. Your bent knee, the right knee stays behind your right toe. Adjust the knee position, maybe turn the knee slightly more out and then open up. We've done a lot of punches today and the risk, especially in the beginning, is that you pull the shoulders up a little bit too much. So make sure now during stretching, you really let go of your shoulders, you pull the shoulders down, you let go of your trapezius muscle. And then sit down. Both knees bend and pivot both knees to the right side. Come up onto your knees and have a side or back bend to your uh, taste. So if you just want a side bend, that's fine. If you want to go slightly into a back bend, that's fine too. Just explore here. We have been doing and we are still doing a lot of core work, working on our straight abs, the lateral abs, the obliques, the transverse, pelvic floor. So we need some ab stretching to prevent those abs on starting to drag the chest down. So a little bit of an opening here, back bend, can't hurt. And last one up for the shoulders, for the chest, come onto your belly. Open arms to a T position, palms are facing to the ground, then bend the right knee. And then turn your right foot all the way over to the side, twisting the upper body. You will feel a stretch in your left chest muscle. Keep it gentle, then come slowly back and change sides, bending the left knee, and then twisting over to the right trying to touch the ground with the toes. Now stretching your right chest muscle. Keep relaxing those shoulders. We're repeating the same stretch two more times with different arm positions. So next one up, you can change arm position if you want to from a T position into a V position. So opening the arms a little further up, still with the palms down, then bend the right knee and twist over to the left. Knee stays up, foot starts to touch the ground with the toes. Keep the knee up though. And you will now feel an opening in the left shoulder, chest. Be very aware here of how much you can turn or want to turn, not to hurt or overstretch, and then change side, lift the left leg, twist it over. So with increasing numbers of workouts that we're gonna have, also your kicks and punches are going to become better. Your range of motion will increase. Your coordination, your coordinative skills will increase to do better kicks for better balance. Pull the leg back quicker. Pull the punches back quicker. Be more oriented in your movement through space. And now the last one is a cobra twist or cobra roll. Bring the tips of the fingers alongside your shoulders. Looking a little bit like a grasshopper and then bend the right knee, twist it over. You can push yourself up a little bit, twisting here in the shoulder girdle. You don't need to be aesthetic as I am. You can be creative and explorative. So we're slowly increasing the intensity here. I hope this wasn't too bad. Come back anytime you want for having a second round during this week, if you wish so. Otherwise, I'll see you all for the next workout of the Espresso Workouts Bootcamp. Becoming the fittest and fiercest version of yourself.